and what is up guys this is Studio back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel extended version 4.2 and this is the 25th February 2022 build this is one of the best ROMs out there for the Redmi K20 Pro I feel by the way if you want to flash this particular ROM you can check out the guide from the description box below you shouldn't worry about the flashing methods it's same with any other Android 12 ROMs this is a Android 11 firmware based ROM. So first you just flash the Android 11 firmware which is about 99 MB then flash the ROM and flash the Disable Force Encrypt zip or the fcrypt kind of zip and you just reboot if your storage is decrypted of course. Now there are a couple of recoveries which are mentioned that you should use. Of course I have used the latest official orange box recovery the stable one that worked super fine here with this particular ROM. Now for the Redmi K20 Pro the sad thing is no ROM comes with Anix camera as of right now and this is the same thing as of right now with the Pixel Extended ROM 2. This does not come with the Anix camera but of course you can install the Google Camera Go or stuff like that which I'll show you later on but first let me show you the about section. Here is how it looks like in the Android version section. We have the Android version as Android 12 of course and the extended version if you keep tapping on it it just goes into the github page of the pixel extended ROM and here we have the security patch as of now is latest of February 5th 2022 and we have the stock kernel as the Engli Zoos kernel kind of and the build number is also mentioned over here 25th February 2022 build again official one for Raphael of course and in the system panel this is how it looks like we do have a system updater you can check for updates from here as this is an official ROM and in the gestures we have a couple of things like the quick tap and stuff is there and you can turn it on and quick tap should work it should show as you can see quick tap detected so yeah it, it has the quick tap and stuff if you want to use that right now we have the quickly open camera option and we have the gesture navigation settings if you go into the settings of that we don't have the pill bar length customization or the thickness customization but that's fine we have the haptic feedback and the full screen gestures and swipe to invoke assistant is also there so you can swipe up from these corners to get the google assistant so with the voice trigger google assistant may not work but you can swipe from the corners again from anywhere and that should work properly for the google assistant we have the two button and three button navigations as well here then we have the one-handed mode that works super fine if you are seeing this as you can see the one-handed mode just works perfectly and we have the press and hold power button swipe break screenshot and stuff and the swipe break screenshot let me show you as you can see it is working fine we have the delete screenshot option and if you're somewhere where there is a lot of space and right now if i take a screenshot as you can see there is a capture mode option and you can capture more stuff just like this and you can go ahead and edit that out with the google's markup and as you can see it is working perfectly fine you can mark anything just like this so yeah this is working perfectly fine the screenshot and stuff works great then we have this prevent ringing option then we have the double tap to check phone option too inside pop-up camera we have the camera calibration option and it does work we have the pop-up camera sound effects then we have the pop-up camera raise dialog then the camera led option is there live translate is also there and the stock keyboard here is gboard let's talk about the home screen a bit we have the pixel launcher i guess let me show you from this as you can see this is the pixel launcher present by default here and you can go into the split screen and stuff from the recent panel just like this or you can go all the way to the left of the home screen and then clear all the apps from right here and right now in the settings we don't have much things we have the suggestion disabling option and stuff but we don't have like the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen but the widgets in the home screen are working great as you can see this is the android 12 kind of clock widget that i have added and all the animations and stuff are very smooth and snappy and all the widgets should be working great here of course there is the double tap to sleep on the status bar that works great this is how the always on display looks like and talking with the fingerprint scanner speed it is fairly fast and it is almost like works 100% of the time no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner and even the animations if you're noticing i'll show you all the animations and stuff they are available in the customization settings as you can see the fingerprint scanner is no problems at all it unlocks 100% of the time very reliable fingerprint scanner experience overall to the left of the home screen we have the google's discover page and scrolling between them is pretty fun and we have the swiping up and get you to the app drawer option swiping down gets you to the quick setting panel this is how it looks like you can also use the dark theme if you want to this is how the dark theme looks like of course the accent colors are being implemented from the wallpaper itself this is the wallpaper i'm using from the wallp app and yes everything is working fine with the monet theme engine and stuff and there are a couple of options in the quick setting panel which i'll show you right now we have the edit button and here we have much more things like the dc dimming and stuff is there but let me tell you this dc dimming option is not working even if you turn it on it doesn't do anything i'll show you the display settings where the receiving is we have the high brightness mode and that is working perfectly fine by the way you can have the receiving working if you flash a different kernel or something but right out of the box stock 
by default the receiving does not work talking about the quick setting panel again we have the android 12 kind of screen recorder we have the device audio and the microphone audio recording at the same time with the screen recorder we have the dark theme again the battery saver and stuff and the do not disturb is there the night light works great no issues with that and we have the extra dim mode over here and here on the bottom we get the edit button the power menu and in the power menu again we have the advanced restart option you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here and we have this customization panel if you tap here it will directly go into the snow house or the customization panel of the pixel extended rom and here in the settings panel of course this is how the settings panel looks like talking about the camera a little bit we have this gcam go i have installed separately and this is working great no issues whatsoever the front camera and stuff everything works properly even the portrait mode works great it should not be a problem and we have this face retouching option and stuff and with the unix version of the gcam it is also working fine let me show you this is the version 2.6 of the unix camera and yes everything is working fine like the ultra wide angle lens it is working great also we have this 2x telephoto lens working great and if you switch the front camera with this also this is working great and in the video settings as well this is working great let me show you we have up to the 60 fps video option but all in 1080p i guess you have to install these cameras separately and of course there is no anx camera present by default here it may work if you install it with magisk but i won't quite recommend that because i feel that is a hassle to flash magisk and stuff i don't install it separately so yeah you can if you want to and try that out but anx camera will not be properly working over here that's for sure maybe we will have the anx camera in future as stock or by default in android 12 but as of right now 4k 20 pro sadly we don't get that in any android 12 rom out there now first things first let me talk about why this rom is different from other roms yes the evolution is is great but here you are getting much much better battery life so talking about the battery as you can see right now i have 91 percent juice left you can see the battery usage from here too but i won't show you that i will show you the echo battery stats but here we also have the battery saver the adaptive preference and the turn on the light when charging by the way we don't get any thermal profiles in this rom as of right now and here let me show you the echo battery stats i have tested the device thoroughly with that i have been getting eight hours and 32 minutes of screen on time here it shows also if you look at the screen off time or the standby time and it has been giving me amazing amount of battery life at least for me and i would say this is one of the best battery life roms that i have ever seen on the redmi k20 pro with android 12. you can see the combined usage and the screen off time again the standby time and the screen on time of course it can definitely give you eight plus hours of screen on time with normal to heavy usage you shouldn't worry about the battery life of this rom and even it charges pretty fast i have used the 33 watt fast charger it has been charging really well and the device does not get hot while fast charging over here that is another good thing i would say and if you go into the health as of right now it shows i have about 72 percent health left of the battery so that's how it is as of right now with my battery my device is very old i'm pretty sure it has gone through almost 700 plus cycles i guess 700 plus charging cycles totally so yeah that's how it is and right now i have been getting about eight hours of screen on time this is one of the best rom that you can flash if you want more battery life out of a custom rom which is based on android 12. now the next reason why you should flash this rom i would say the customizations well inside snow house you will find a lot of customizations we have the status bar items and the headset bluetooth battery etc icons you can customize traffic indicator you can also enable but i use a separate app for that 4g icon and stuff is there vault e icon etc is there view wi-fi icon is also there but i don't have a sim card over here that's why you don't see those icons but yeah vault e calling and stuff should be working amazingly well you shouldn't worry about that double tap to sleep is also there the clock options are there and here we have the clock position changing option you can put it to center or something if you want to just like that and we have the show seconds the normal date customization and stuff the battery styles these are the styles that you will get now here you don't get the big dotted circle or something like that that's how it is we have the battery percentage next to the icon or something and we have the battery estimates the vibrate on toggle touch then the brightness control is also there so you can slide a finger on the status bar and that will actually adjust the brightness of the screen now we have some brightness slider customization if you want to have the brightness slider on the shorter quick setting panel or not you can customize that from right here also in the lock screen we have the double app to sleep on the lock screen now the media artwork and stuff is there four small clock option is there lock screen charging info is there also there is the udfps customization you can have a custom or a photo or something on the figure scanner if you want to 
also we have the udfps icon picker now if you go into it we have plethora of icons but this portion kind of lags i have seen so i have no idea why but this portion as you can see if you're noticing there is a little bit of frame drop while scrolling on this portion but yeah you can use all these icons also in the animations if you see if i scroll like this there is a slight a little bit of frame drop once you're scrolling i feel but yeah you can see all the animations and if you tap on them it just like shows you the animation what it will do once you are unlocking but i have been liking the simple one but you can also go with the other ones like the dna molecular supernova etc a lot of animations are there for the frame rate scanner now inside the system we have the nav bar gesture customization again we have the haptic feedback and stuff there vibrate on connect call waiting and the disconnect option is there wake up on plug annoying notifications you can disable them and the advanced restart you can enable from right here the toggle torch from the lock screen is there playback control volume rocker wake fingerprint sensor vibration and stuff is there that's all for the customizations now inside the sound and vibration we have this media call etc volume by the way this is how the volume panel looks like and if you're noticing while you have a bluetooth device connected on the status bar it shows the bluetooth battery icon and you can see the battery percentage from the bluetooth settings too and if you go into the settings over here right now i have this boot rocker 335 connected and as you can see there is the qualcomm aptex hd audio enabled so yeah all the codecs and stuff should be working great with bluetooth whatever is supported by the device we also have the adaptive sound then the shortcut to prevent ringing and stuff then we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound when vibration then the touch sound you can also disable we have the mi audio dirac here we have these youth edition and stuff and all other headsets also we have this base booster preset over here if you want to use that even inside preset we have a lot of options enable hi-fi option is also there the sound quality very headphone jack and bluetooth as well was amazing throughout my experience even the loudspeaker quality is great no issues whatsoever with the sound quality on this rom now in the display settings we have the brightness level then the adaptive or auto brightness option is there then the lock screen option is there now here we don't have a always on display toggle which i am missing over here simply so yeah no always on display toggle so if you want to enable or disable the always on display you have to go into the display settings then lock screen then enable this always show time and info to enable the always on display or if you don't want it you can disable this one and we have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes then we have the dark theme of course and you can schedule that font size display size the dpi customization is there the night light you can also customize and choose the intensity of it we have the color set to boosted as of right now you can choose other ones too and the pocket detection is also there then we have the double tap to wake then ambient display is there also there is the custom display settings now here if you're noticing it says dc dimming is not supported by the kernel so that means if you flash a separate kernel which supports dc dimming you can use the dc dimming feature but as of right now with the stock kernel the dc dimming is not supported headline and body font option is there you can choose between these many fonts and these many icons and we have the icon pack so plethora of customizations are there regarding these also there is the wallpapers and styles you can change the wallpapers from right here we have the dark theme and of course you can change the accent colors even between basic and wallpaper colors and again we have the dark theme themed icons and the app grid options are there we have up to 5 by 5 app grid on the home screen now inside security this portion is interesting because we have this pin option if you go into the settings we have the quick unlock option we have the lock after timeout and stuff we also have the face unlock and the fingerprint scanner as of right now now here as you can see once you get into that we have the face unlock i have added my face and the fingerprint scanner option is also there so let me show you how the face unlock works so if i double tap to sleep if i double tap to wake it won't unlock with the face unlock that's good you have to swipe up and wait until it recognizes your face then as you can see this is the face unlocking speed let me show you one more time so i swipe up and look at the device and it unlocks so the face unlock works properly no issues whatsoever it is fairly quick when we compare the device with other ones which has a motorized front camera so yeah with the motorized front camera the face unlock is a little slower when compared to a normal device but yeah the face unlock works great no issues whatsoever also again the fingerprint scanner if i'm showing you up close it's fairly fast no issues whatsoever that i have faced and it is unlocking 100 percent of the time no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner here one more thing that i want to talk about over here is the app lock and that is kind of missing as of right now from the security settings if i go right now here inside security as you can see there is the app lock but if i tap on it it doesn't do anything but you can still access it you can still access it by just searching over here just write lock in the search section of settings then you will find this auto lock timeout or something like that or this app lock 
then go over here you can have this enable biometrics for app unlocking you can also use the face unlock but that might be buggy so i have disabled the face unlock for the app locking thing and you can go into the security and face unlock settings for that and here in the protected apps you can select particular apps that you want to lock here let's assume you want to lock whatsapp so you just click on that or you can just choose from these options over here so let me just go back from this section and you also have this app lock timeout 30 seconds 5 seconds or up to 30 minutes we have then we have this collapse notification option so if you don't want the notification to show up you can enable that too so right now if i open whatsapp just like this it shows this kind of window and right now if i tap the fingerprint scanner then only the app will unlock so this is great that the app lock is there and it is working perfectly fine if you're noticing so yeah the app lock is there in this rom and that is working fine but then again you may have to search that lock option in the settings now talking about the normal things like the drm info and stuff it shows l1 over here so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos internet TV without any issues also it passes the safety net test right out of the box so you can use banking apps like google pay or sbi card anything like that without any problems now here i have opened couple of apps in memory right now if i open them all one by one as you can see all the apps do stay in memory and that is a really good thing as you can see all the apps are staying in memory and you can switch between apps just like this it is fairly fast and snappy and you can again switch between apps without any issues for daily driving i haven't seen any such issues with the performance or i haven't seen any kind of lags or shutters everything is fairly smooth over here no issues whatsoever with the performance of this rom and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the android bin scores with a cpu stress test on this rom and this rom has one of the fastest reboot times i have ever seen just check this out and it's right there in the home screen or the lock screen so it has already been rebooted this is amazing fastest reboot speed that i have ever seen so i definitely like this rom for the redmi k20 pro i will definitely recommend this rom if you want more battery life out of uh, android 12 custom rom this is one of the best out there so let me know in the comments what do you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now